What's up guys, it's Nolan here with Okos Automotive and today we're doing a nice install of some ETS parts on the all new VB WRX. So in addition to this beautiful looking top mount intercooler from ETS here, we're also going to do their matching charge pipe. Um, comes with all the couplers you need as well as the nice adapter piece to retain the OEM uh, style flange with the circlip. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later during the install. Um, comes with nice T-bolt clamps, nice new bolts, uh, just everything you need um, in a nice package here. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start taking apart the car and we'll bring you along the way. All right, so first step here, pretty much just gonna tackle the brackets that attach the intercooler like to the intake manifold. Um, that's pretty easy, it's just the uh, one bolt there, one bolt there, and then we'll take the brackets off the manifold as well. Um, after the brackets are removed, it's pretty much just the, the flange or the mating surface here that holds this all together to the throttle body. Um, this is sort of a new thing for this car. Um, we're used to using like you know, clamps or silicone coupler. Uh, this just has a, a bracket that holds it together with an O-ring. So it's just these two bolts here. Uh, last thing holding it on here is also another new thing for most of us Subaru guys. Um, it's this, this clip here. Again, instead of a normal like silicone coupler and clamp, or like the VAWRX had the, the two bolts for the charge pipe with a flat flange. Um, this is sort of similar to what you'd see on like diesel engine applications, or I've also heard like a lot of Volkswagen and BMW stuff have that. Uh, pretty simple to remove actually. You just kind of pry on there and it will pop out of the way like that. And then you just do the same thing. like so. Uh, so with that clip removed, it should just slide pretty much that way and then up all as one piece. Um, with the IAG AOS installed, it's a little bit tight there and you could probably get it out, um, but just to make it a little bit easier, we're gonna take the bracket off here. All right, with the stock intercooler removed here, we can do a nice comparison between the two, peel off some of this uh, cardboard protection. Satisfying. Mm. Both backsides there, um, you can see the thickness comparison. Um, it is quite substantial. Um, really nice to see these welds here. Um, just attention to detail on everything. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Again, just attention to detail with all this stuff. This is a really nice machined piece. Um, I haven't really seen anything better from the other top mount options. Um, this one looks super nice, so glad to be installing this one. Pop this guy over here, something like that. And just use our nice new included hardware. Next important step here, uh, make sure you pull this O-ring out. Um, it's a little bit difficult to grab, but you need that uh, out of there, otherwise you won't be sealed. Yeah, so pretty much just start from one edge and just push it. Yeah, that's not uh, super fun or easy to get in there, um, but pretty much just take your time and work all the way around, like shoving it in there, making sure it's straight, and eventually it will get in there and hopefully seal.
All right, so that's everything transferred over to our new intercooler. Um, but before we put this back on, we're gonna go ahead and get the factory charge pipe removed and swapped with the ETS one. Uh, for that, we gotta lift up the car. So we're gonna get that going and uh, we'll see you under the car. Okay, so underneath the car here, we have both the under tray and the uh, kind of skid plate thing removed here. And that gives you some sort of access up into uh, obviously the turbo area, but also where the charge pipe connects to it. Um, so just like the upper part where it connects to the intercooler, you just got to remove this clip here. So there's also a bolt that holds it to the timing cover up in there, right there. And that's pretty much it. that guy yep so that's the clip there pretty much pushed out of the way um, and everything's free we're gonna lower the car back down um, to actually yank that off just so you have some more leverage um, and we'll pull it out through the top of the engine bay so just say like yank yank your hose you just kind of twist it and eventually it'll get off yeah, so here's the pipe off the car. Um, if you couldn't really see the shot from underneath, um, here's pretty much the same thing with the, the clip. Uh, so you just push it out of the way so it unlocks and then just yank it off, twist it a little bit. All right, so with the stock charge pipe off and on the bench here, you just remove this uh, clip completely. We're gonna transfer it over to the included adapter piece. Um, and then also you gotta get the O-ring out from the inside, um, so that's, simple as that. Just take this guy, shove her in there. Let me, yeah, from the side. All right, after you put your O-ring and clip into this piece, you're just gonna take the smallest of the uh, two adapter couplers there and uh, Push it on basically to the stopping point about there. Then you're gonna take your clamp. Um, it's gonna install on the turbo this way and we wanna be able to access the clamp. Put it that way and then this should allow you to tighten that more once it's installed on the car. So now you're gonna take your completed assembly here um, and basically fish it down onto the compressor housing of the turbo. Um, just kind of feed it down into there. It's a little bit tight, um, but luckily with the use of these new clip style uh, flanges, you can just push it on, hear it click, and it's able to swivel on there. Um, and then we will still be able to get to our clamp. Uh, you can do that from on top. It's probably easier to reach underneath, um, but I'm pretty happy with that. Then we're gonna take another one of the T-bolt clamps. There's two that are uh, slightly larger than the one we just put on. So we're gonna need one of those. Um, that's gonna go on to the coupler. Like so. Then we'll take our charge pipe, our nice black pipe. Um, tab's gonna go facing downward that way. That's gonna bolt back to the timing cover. And we'll just kind of shove it on there. <laughs> okay. So with that bolt installed there, uh, we're going to lift the car back up to just finally uh, tighten up the two T-bolt clamps there. Um, and then we'll be good to put the top mount back on. Okay, I might have lied a little bit. I uh, thought we were done with the intercooler, but actually we have to take this coupler off as well. Um, just this clamp here, actually. 
<laughs> Just gonna take our last T-bolt clamp here and get that uh, set up so it's ready to go. And we'll take the intercooler, kind of fish it back in. Kind of get this guy lined up here while we're at it. Get this back. Two more supplied bolts uh, from ETS. They are different lengths than the OEM ones, so um, definitely suggest using these instead. Uh, just before we tighten the T-bolt clamps up, uh, we want to make sure it's kind of orientated the correct way. Uh, so we're just going to put the brackets back on. Um, just so we know exactly where it's all going to sit. We're not twisting anything. Okay, so that's everything done with our charge pipe and intercooler install. There's only one thing left we gotta do, and it's my favorite part. That's a wrap on our ETS top mount intercooler and charge pipe install. Glad to get rid of that, uh, mainly the factory charge pipe. Uh, it's a plastic piece, it kind of tapers down um, and it has a lot of like sound detonating and insulation on it that I assume uh, blocks like turbo and cabin noise. Um, so that'll be cool to have the induction noise a little bit louder uh, coupled with the ETS intake. Um, of course the top mount is a lot bigger. It's gonna provide hopefully less heat soak and, and just overall better intake temps. Um, the owner of the car has a tune revision to load on to hopefully take advantage and, and make some more power. Um, so with that, we're all done. We get the hood shut, get this thing out the door, and we'll see you guys in the next video.